Of course, there will be more than Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump on the ballots. Voters in Washington State, California, Nevada, and Maine will decide on stricter gun measures, including widened background checks for gun purchases. Juliana Goldman has more on this. After mass shootings in Newtown, the amendment is not agreed to. San Bernardino, the motion is not agreed to. And Orlando, the motion is not agreed to. Universal background checks have failed in Congress, but it could be a whole different story in Maine, where voters will see a very similar proposal on their ballots in November. David Trahan runs the Maine gun rights organization and opposes the measure. I could easily be charged with a felony and lose my right to own firearms simply for letting a friend borrow a firearm for hunting. Yet he's already admitting defeat, in part because he says he can't compete against the millions spent by a gun control group founded by former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg. His millions go a long way in the state of Maine, but if he gets a win here, he can then go to other states. Bloomberg's group has raised $3.7 million this year, compared to just over 420000 by the National Rifle Association. While Bloomberg declined an interview, he said this to face the nation in 2014. The vast preponderance of the public does not want criminals, minors, or people with psychiatric problems to be able to buy guns. Polls show overwhelming majorities of Americans support expanding background checks. So in some states, a ballot initiative allows voters to decide instead of lawmakers who fear the NRA. David Farmer is a gun owner who runs the Bloomberg-supported group in Maine. Do you think other states can see this and, and say, here are ways to get around the gun lobby? That right. This is a chink in the NRA's armor? The power still really does remain with the voters. And if they want change, you can make it happen. Close the background check loophole! In 2014, that's exactly what happened in Washington state, where the background check initiative easily won. Bloomberg's group and others spent over $10 million compared to the NRA's 489000 Sources from gun rights groups tell us the reason the NRA didn't spend more was they knew they were going to lose. And that's Trahan's fear for November. We're going to be a, a truly David versus Goliath fight here. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Washington.